I describe quantitative reasoning as learning how to use information, data, and mathematics to describe what's actually happening in the world. The mathematical modeling and reasoning class was a class we designed for mainly seniors that we thought would better serve them than taking a pre-calculus class that was rich in algebra and we wanted to have them do more just problem solving and diving into different types of mathematics without getting caught up in all the algebra and just thinking more and doing more problem solving and, and getting them better prepared for mathematics in the future. Um, mostly the kids are doing um, hands-on projects. Um, it, instead of introducing the lesson, like I guess when I would teach a lesson before, we would say, okay, today we're doing this, and here we just pose a problem. Um, the problem that we're working on right now is how did the um, effect, what was the effect of the one-child policy on the population of China? So we just ask the kids, that's our question. And then we have activities for the kids to work through to analyze how it actually affected it mathematically. And then on top of that, some of the units have a more of an extension. So what were some of the social effects? What were some of the uh, long-term economic effects of the policy? And so the kids are using math that they know and math that they are learning through doing the work. We took M&Ms and we would dump them out of a cup and all the M&Ms that had the M on the top would represent a cancer cell. So they would multiply so we add one more and then we keep doing it more and more and more until we got our final result. And then we had other projects like a Barbie bungee jump, which we went out on the third terrace and we threw Barbies down all the way down to the floor and see how close we get to the floor without the Barbie hitting its head on the ground. Um, so in the class, typically they're in groups 90% of the time. Um, they work together. We always ask, you know, what questions do we need to ask to answer this question? What information do you need to know? So it's a lot of brainstorming. And then when they dig into the math, they have to work together to answer the questions. It wasn't a simple problem on a page and you having to find X or you having to figure out what it was. It was a real life situation where you had to figure out, was it the driver or was it the biker who ended up causing the crash? And then we got to make up all these hypothetical situations and you got to put forward your own imagination into it and it just made it so that it was fun. It's really different because the kids are doing hands-on math 95% of the time. Um, even when we do reinforcement activities, it's from the approach of it in a real life situation. And it's not just like, I always call it an authentic real life situation, because sometimes when you make up a story problem, it's about somebody going to the zoo and they want to measure the perimeter of the fence. This is actually, how would you use perimeter in real life? It was just like a warm environment. I come in here and not only do I learn educational, like school related stuff, but I also learn like life lessons that I feel like will drive me further in other situations or other subjects. It's different for students though because it's a new experience for many of them and so part of the class at the beginning is teaching them that learning is not just receiving information but them working to gather information. She won't just have us write stuff down and copy and then just move on. She'll have us write this stuff and kind of like read and write down what we're doing so we know what we're doing and we have an understanding and then it's kind of like she would just take everything from us and kind of just coach us. It's kind of weird to hear everybody's like thought process of how they get different answers like someone might do one method and someone gets the same answer but it's completely different and it's like you might understand one method and the other one's confusing I was like how did you get that like what but that's also another cool thing you hear different people's like way of thinking but i actually learned a lot like i think i learned the most in this math class it actually made it so that it was easier to put equations together in this class you definitely learn more of like a not like a social skill, but like a, maybe like a confidence or skills within yourself more than in other math class. Like other math class, you just learn math. Like in here, you learn how to like communicate with your group and you have to analyze your work. It's like Ms. Walls is here, we can ask her questions, but she won't like 
give us the answers. Like, we have to rely on each other to help each other to understand or analyze our work. And they really, at the beginning of the year, said that I hate math, math's my worst subject. Um, I, don't, I didn't learn anything last year, I don't know what I'm doing at all, and I'm just terrible at math. By the middle of the year, they were like, well, we can do this, we can figure this out. And by the end of the year, we're hearing things such as, math was, this was the easiest math class, I've never been good at math until now. I didn't like it at first, but like over time, I, was, I just grew to like it.